In your voice, your vote is $75 million loan and annual 10% water bill increases for the next six years. That's what's on the ballot this November in Ashland. Definitely something to keep in mind. This money is to fund the replacement and moving of the city's current water treatment plant. Newswatch 12's Rocky Walker looked into both sides and has more information on how they say this could affect your wallets. I'm here in the Ashland watershed. This is where most Ashlanders get their water and where it's treated at. But with a measure on the upcoming November ballot, Ashland residents will be able to dictate the finances of how that water treatment center is replaced and or rehabilitated. In the upcoming election with measure 15234, voters will have the power to approve an action that was originally made in city council chambers. To approve a $75 million loan with the Environmental Protection Agency, which would result in six annual 10% increases in water rates for Ashland residents. This is part of what pushes some residents to oppose the measure, saying the cost isn't worth it for the risk presented. It would be great to have a state-of-the-art new water treatment plant. I'm not convinced that, that's, that we can afford it or that that's truly what we need. Those I spoke with on the opposing side brought up fears for pricing out residents, saying it could be a slippery slope of public spending that doesn't put the needs of the residents in mind. I think we have an obligation to spend public money wisely, and I am not convinced this is doing that. The supporters of the measure, including those on the city council, say this is the best funding option available. And a no on the measure would mean the plant would still need to be replaced, but in a way that would cost more. A yes vote means that the person affirms the decision by the council to go forward with these very favorable financing rates. A no vote pushes the city towards less favorable financing, which then increases the cost for the users who buy the water from the city. While concerns are expressed by opposers of the measure with a lack of cost estimates post-pandemic, Graham says the current availability of grants could lower the price increase residents would have to pay. Right now is the very best time in decades for us to go forward with grant proposals because of the president's um, bipartisan infrastructure bill and funding that is available through the state. In Ashland, Rocky Walker, Newswatch 12.